A percent symbol simply states that the number is out of 100. So 53% can be written as 53 out of 100. And 53 out of 100 means you've got 100 things and you've got to shade 53 of them, which is what we have here. We have 100 tiles, it's 10 by 10, and we've got to shade 53 out of those 100. So we'll just simply go ahead, we'll shade 20, we'll shade 30, 40, and 50. And then we'll go ahead, we'll shade three more, and we got 53 colored in. And that, that's it. You, you're done the question. Now, I can also ask you to convert this into a decimal. Okay, that's not a scary thing. You just look at this here and you say, I need hundredths. Now, we know something about decimal values is that the first spot is called the tenths and the second spot is called the hundredths. So we have to put the 53 here and that, that's pronounced as 53 hundredths. And we can put a zero there and make it that way. And if we had one of these, we can also divide these two, 53 out of 100, and then push equals, and we get 0 0.53. It's the same thing, but this is faster. You don't need a calculator for every question. Now, the percentage is right here. The fraction is right here. And the decimal is right there. And they all mean the same thing. And here's the picture. How about 0 0.31? What does that mean? Well, point 31 is pronounced as 31 hundredths because of the place values. So we can write it as 31 over 100. And then we look at this picture and we say we have 100. Now let's just go ahead and shade 31 of them. So we'll go 10, 20, 30, and then one more. And that's 31 out of 100. Now ask yourself, can you reduce this fraction? And the answer is no because nothing divides into both of them. Can you convert this into a percentage? Yes, you can, because anything that's a 100 out of a 100 is the percentage. So we can call this 31%. And this and that and that are all the same value. Now, if we had a calculator, we could simply just go 31 divided by 100 and prove that. We'll go 31 divided by 100 and look what we get. We get decimal 31. And that's all you do with these sort of things. You need to understand place value so you're not constantly going back to your calculator. Now, how about 5 out of 7? The common mistake is students will say, I see a 5 there, so I'm going to just go ahead, I'm going to color 5 in. And that's got to be right, right? Not quite. You see, the denominator here is a 7. But we don't have 7, we have a 100. So you can't just go ahead and shade five of them. So what we need to do is we need to change this value into a decimal. We can take one of these out. We just push five divided by seven. We get a, oh, look at that decimal value. That's a scary decimal value and kids will get scared of this, but I'm going to say don't. You see, all you need to do is you need to take the first two decimal values. You stop right there and you round that second one. That one here needs to round. So do you round it up or do you keep it the same? The answer lies in the number next to him. If he is less than five, the one stays the same. If it's five or bigger, he rounds up. So in this case, we just write 0 0.71. That's it. Now this is an estimated amount. It is, this is the exact amount, all of this. But we're just taking an estimate. And we can write that estimate as 71 out of 100. You understand that, right? Because tenths and hundredths. So we write it exactly according to the place values. And then we just go ahead and we say, hey, 71 out of 100, we have 100. Let's shade 71. So we'll go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We got 30, 40, 50. We got 60. We'll go to our 70th one right here. And then just one more. We could shade it here doesn't matter where that last one's from as long as we have 71 shaded in. Can you calculate the percentage that's shaded? I hope you said 71%. If you did, you should be very proud of yourself because 71 out of 100 is 71% because it's out of 100. And then we have this and that and that and that and they all mean the same thing. When kids see this question, they rush to their calculator because they start to panic and they go like this.
They don't bark, but they do take out their calculators and they go 15 divided by 45. There are some questions that you need to notice and recognize and say to yourself, I don't need a calculator for this. If you're in my class, you probably would recognize that this here can be reduced. And that would make one out of three. And if you're in my class, you definitely know what one out of three is because I've drilled it in your heads by now that one out of three is decimal three, 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 three forever. But we don't need all these digits. We just need the estimated amount and we stop right there. And then we ask ourselves, what is the fraction for this value? And that would be 33 out of 100. Remember, tenths and hundredths. We don't need all these extra digits. We just round it to that value. And then we go ahead, we take our marker, and we just color those in. We color 33 out of 100. There's 30 and there's three more. And then we stop. We say, hey, look, we did it. We got the answer. And we didn't even need a calculator for this. Now, the percentage value for this would be 33%. How about this one? Do we need to rush out and take one of these out? Oh, yeah. Here's something you need to recognize. If the denominator is a 40, you can do a trick here. It's a two-step trick and you do it in your head, but I'm going to show you the steps. If you divide it by 2 and you divide that by 2, you're going to get 9 out of 20. You take that 20 and you multiply it by 5, look what you're going to get. You're going to get 145. Now it's a beautiful thing. We've got 45 out of 100 and we didn't even need our calculator. We could have simply pushed 18 divided by 40, wasted all kinds of time, pushed the equals and got decimal 45. But why would we do that when we see it right here? That's decimal 45, which is 45%. Now we just go ahead and we color 45 out of 100. So remember that trick when you have... When you have a 40 in the denominator, remember that idea here is just divide it by 2 and then multiply by 5. And then go ahead and color your diagrams. Now decimal 3, common error is people will go, students will say, hey, I got this. Stand back, Mr. M. I, got, I know what I'm doing here. I can just take this number and just go ahead and shade 3. Like that. And I'm done. Not quite. Because if you look at this number here, it is not 3 out of 100, it is 3 out of 10. And we have 100 pieces, not 10. So we have to convert it. You know what we can do here? We can add a bunch of zeros. That's allowed after the decimal. But we only need that amount. So that says 30 out of 100. That's one way to do it. And then just go ahead and color 30. So now that's more reasonable. So we got 30 out of 100. Now, the other way to do this without doing all those string of zeros is just simply convert the 10 into 100 by multiplying, yeah, times by 10, times by 10. Look what you get. You get 30 over 100, which is, as a percent, 30%. So, in this case, you don't need one of these. You can just go ahead and figure it out using common sense. How about that one? I know by now you're probably like, okay, it can't be true. There's got to be a trick to this. There is no trick. Read that. Isn't that 3 out of 100? Because of the place values, right. You see, now you're getting the hang of this. And 3 out of 100 simply means color three things out of 100. So now we can just go ahead and color three things. What is this as a percentage? 3%. So we got a percent, we've got a fraction, and we've got a decimal. Now here we're going to use some, uh, we're going to twist it around. You don't have to color anything here. It's already colored. You got to give me the fraction, the decimal, and the percent. So at this point here, let's see what we can do here. We have a denominator and it is the total, which is 100. But how many are colored? We got 10 here. We got 11, 12, 13, 14 colored. So that's our fraction, right? Not so fast. Always reduce your fractions, even if I don't tell you to. So since they are even numbers, we can divide them. We get 7 out of 50, and that's going to be reduced because you can't divide these by anything now. Now, if I said convert this into a decimal, you could do this and go 7 divided by 50. Waste all kinds of time and get decimal 14. Or you could be smart 
and you could say 14 out of 100, ah, okay, look at that 100. That's going to be decimal. That's hundreds. I'm going to put 14 in there. And that's going to be my decimal. I don't need to waste time with a calculator. And my percentage is going to be 14%. Because anything out of 100, here it is, it's out of 100, is the percentage. 14%. Ah! 